Lots of attacks, of course, start with emails, um, phishing attacks and, and spear phishing attacks, emails to, to trick you into going to a website that's going to do something horrid to you or to opening an attachment that has got some Trojan code in it, and we'll come back to, to Trojan code in a bit. These, these phishing emails are, are often quite easy to spot, but they're getting harder because the criminals are getting better. Uh, firstly, they're, they're learning to write decent English. <laughs> uh, secondly, they're, they're now um, trying to avoid the, the dear customer approach and addressing you directly, and, and quite often targeting people very specifically. People in finance departments have been getting emails purporting to come from their chief executive or their finance director, instructing them to make an urgent payment to a new supplier, to a new account. And because the, the emails have got company logos, they've got the, the right structure, they're from the right person and they're to the right person, actually a lot of those get acted upon bef before it's uh, realised that, that this is a scam. And of course, once the money's gone, you, you can't get it back because the criminals move it very rapidly to another country. This is a, a typical phishing email. This is, this is one I got, got recently. It was a, you know, your PayPal account is, is about to expire or you need to do something about it. Um, lots of, of classic things wrong with it that, that tell you. If, you. if you hover over the update button in the, in the middle there, um, then you can see in, in the bottom of your email client that actually it's going off to some uh, bizarre uh, web address that's, that's clearly not legitimate. Um, up here, the, the L of PayPal is, is actually um, not, not an L at all. Yeah, it's a one. Uh, they've chosen an appropriate font so that that's not clearly visible, but that's there to, so that the spam detection doesn't pick it up too readily. Uh, the message implies urgency. It's a dear customer rather than being addressed to an individual. Um, bad spelling and grammar. All the, the usual things that, that show you that, that actually this is a false email. If you, if you look at, if you expand the full headers of the email in, in your email client, um, you can actually see quite often where it's come from. This, this one has, has come from the House of Auto Styling which is a, a mobility scooter organisation in Australia. Uh, it's clear that you know, they haven't sent it. Uh, I'm not suggesting for a second that, that they've done it deliberately. Uh, and uh, I went and had a look at their website. These are the, the people. And, and I notified them, but, uh, but I haven't heard anything back. 